Hello, this is TNN, and today we're going to have a look at a home robot vacuum cleaner. This is by a company called uh, Leafant, I believe. So, if you're interested in purchasing this link to buy, will be down below in the description. Uh, if I have any coupon codes or anything like that, that will all be dropped down below in the description as well. But do remember, with coupon codes, they do run out, so it may not work on the time of when you're watching this video. But hey, if I do have any codes, I'll put it down below anyway. So this is the Leafant robot, I believe I'm saying the company right, Leafant, L-E-F-A-N-T. Robot vacuum cleaner is an auto-robotic vacuum cleaner, of course. Uh, it has something called 6D collision sensors, it's a Wi-Fi app and Alexa working, it's self-charging, it's super quiet, they claim. It's also a small one, so it's mini cleaning robot, so it's perfect for pet hair, uh, hard floor and low, p low pile carpets. And of course it comes with an app. You can control it all by your phone, I think. And because it's smaller, it can fit through a lot of spaces a lot more easier as well. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, information on their website or on the Amazon link down below where it's got it's talks about the brushless motor, which is energy efficient, super quiet. Now, we're all going to check all this out anyway when we have a look at it. It is also on offer right now, so if you do have Prime, you also get to add a voucher on there as well, so that's perfect as well. So yeah, have a look on this, uh, do check it out, we will go through a couple of things anyway. Uh, they do claim to have a long life, battery life as well. So this is the box, very simple, it's got a drawing of what it looks like really. It's really hard because it's quite, it's a fairly big box, so it's quite hard to film it, I think. I uh, also some information over here of the company, uh, battery capacity is 1800 mAh. Package size, weight is 2.68 kilograms. You know, got some basic stuff here, company website. Another picture of the product here. I have cut the seal already. Uh, just makes it a lot more easier because the seal was pretty, pretty thick plastic seal on here, I'm not gonna lie. I'll pull it all this out and let's have a look straight away at the actual product itself. What we'll do is we'll move the box out of the way completely once this is out. Sweet. We'll move that box out of the way, there's nothing else in there. Alright, what we've got in here, we've got a user manual. Swap that out. Here we have the user manual, it is in a few different languages there. English, Dutch, French, I believe, Italian and Spanish. Pretty basic stuff there really. Quick guide, you know, if you don't want to read the manual, you just want to quickly start it up. What else have we got here? We've also got a company card, which hasn't been folded, so I'll fold it for them. Uh, so thank you, thank you for choosing the fan, blah blah blah. I'm just going to you with the whatever, you know, same old stuff. Quite nice that they have that in there just to say thanks for purchasing and all that. Here we have the actual product itself, and we'll get back to that in just a sec. Let's have a look at all the accessories that comes with it first. So these are the sort of like the brushes where they sweep on the floor, the surface that you're cleaning. So we've got that. We'll put these, we've got two of them, of course. For both sides. Sorry about my phone, I'm just going to put my phone on mute. We've also got the charging station here. Bing bang, charging station. I'm not too sure what the hell that is there. No idea what that is there. Oh, wait, what am I doing? This comes out. Somehow. This somehow comes out. We'll have a look at that in a bit. It looks like some sort of cleaning brush. But hey, we've got the charging station. It looks like it's got gloss finish on here. We'll peel this off actually, let's have a look. Yeah, it does have a gloss finish. Put that to the side. Got a beautiful, very nice gloss finish. The gloss plastic over here. Looks like we've got the AC input or DC input there. Yeah, sweet. It's the charging station. We didn't have, I think, hopefully this is a spare filter. Well, we have a filter here. So that picks up all the dirt and grime. We also have a UK 3 pin adapter, of course we will need that. We are in the UK, so I assume this is not going to be UK, there you go. Looks like it's the EU pin, that one there, so uh, I think some European countries support two pins like that. So yeah, that's pretty much what comes in the box. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to clean all this up, I'm going to have a look at the product a little bit closer, and then I'm going to go ahead and set it up as well. Alright, so here is the actual product. Here it is, the actual robot vacuum cleaner. It is, it's quite, it is quite small actually when I think about it. It's not like a huge difference in size, but it is, it is slightly a bit smaller. I also noticed that this one 
tips a lot. Which other vacuum cleaners that I've seen and got doesn't really tip like this, so that's quite interesting. I will bring another Volvo vacuum cleaner that I have and compare the size to it in this video as well, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, we've got a bit of a tip, we've got a clicky button here for powering on and off. On the top over here, it's got very quite a very nice robotic design that I do like. This design looks pretty cool. Uh, click open the top, this layer comes off here, and as you can see here, we have what is the compartment that stores your rubbish. And it just opens up, simple as that, empty it out, close it back up. Uh, this filter here, so we do have a spare one of these filters, so this simply just slides in like that, so it's quite like a rubber seal, it just goes on and just squeezes in like so, I guess. Like that. So that's not too bad, actually. So it does come with a spare one of these actually, so that one we saw in the box was a spare one. It's lovely to know that we get some spares and stuff because uh, I'm not sure where else you'd get refills from apart from the original company of course, because doubt these are really universal. Having a look around the product, we of course have multiple sensors here, here and here, of course the collision sensors, we've got a QR code which we will scan uh, probably to set up the whole app and I will be uh, doing that as well. I'm not going to go through it in this video, it's pretty basic, you just follow the instruction manual and it just turn on there. Uh, I'm not going to go through it all because it, it is pretty basic, you just turn on the instruction manual sort of thing, go through it, uh, it's going to make the video really long if I go through it all. If you do want me to do a separate video going through this all, do comment down below. Um, we've got the wheels over here, which of course are suspension. Now this thing over here, I mentioned that it comes with two of these in, uh, when we unboxed the video, if you saw that but if you didn't skip it. Uh, so one is obviously a spare, I thought this would take both but no it's not, one is obviously a spare, one obviously uh, just sits in and I assume this is obviously for like hard surfaces and whatnot. Uh, when it comes to like carpets, maybe this is probably not ideal for carpets and stuff but then we also got this brush here, so what this does is basically this scoops up any rubbish that's on the floor keeps swinging it along, swings it along, chucks it in there, this sucks it in, goes into a compartment, simple as really, and this is obviously directional, and we've got the magnet ports over here to connect to the magnetic charger, and this is what will charge the thing, the robot vacuum cleaner of course, and we've got a couple sensors here, here, and here, and here, so of course, pretty basic stuff, you know, you've seen it in most of these uh, robot vacuum cleaners, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and scan that barcode on the side over here, and we're going to go ahead and set up the whole vacuum cleaner and see what it's like, so that may take a few minutes, so I'm just not going to put it in the video. Right, so here we are, it did take about a good half an hour, 45 minutes to connect my phone to the bloody robot machine, it took so long, for some reason the app just was not picking up the robot vacuum cleaner. So the app is called Leafant Life. You can get it from the App Store or your Play Store or your whatever you're using um, Android or iOS device. You can get it from there. Um, yeah. So here it is. Here is the robot cleaner. It did connect after all, but it did take a pretty long time. I don't know if that's just for me, my phone, or my Wi-Fi connection. I don't know what was going on. It just took a long, long time. So of course this model is the M201. So I did connect to it eventually. Uh, it's, it's easy to connect to, but it just took so many times. So, um, it, this is basically the whole control. So it's coming, as you can see, it's coming in the charging dock. It is charging. Um, if I press charging base, it'll recognize it's in a charging base. So this is the app pretty much here. You can rename whatever you want to call it. You've got up, down, uh, left, right. You've got play and pause. So it's like pause. You've got switch off and switch on. So you can switch it off and switch it on. It is currently charging. If I press down, of course. It leaves the charging port. If I press up, it goes back into its charging port and starts charging. And I can completely control it just through the buttons at the end. It's very fast at reacting. There you go. Uh, if I press power force, it will turn off. It's turned off. Press power again, it will turn on. Press pause. Uh, we've got smart feature, so basically that's sort of just leaving the machine to do it on its own and when it decides that its battery is starting to die, it will come back to the charger on its own. Uh, wall follow, of course, will just follow the edges of the whole room, so it will just follow the walls. Uh, we've also got spiral, where it just sort of spins around the circle. And it will just keep spinning around the circle and just go around cleaning everything in circles. So that's a pretty cool feature. 
Like they've got settings as well, the settings over here so you can seek the robot, see if you can't find the robot and you're looking for it, like let's say it's gone underneath the bed or so far. If you press this button over here, confirm, the robot beeps and if you just keep pressing it you'll eventually find it. Uh, cleaning record will tell you how much the robot's clean and how long for. You can set, also set a timer for how long you want to do this, you can add a schedule how long you want the robot to clean. Uh, you can press play of course, start the cleaning process again. Auto cleaning is process that is currently on over here, which is a, a smart feature. And other than that, it's pretty good. If you press a charging brace over here, just press that button over there, the robot will literally scan around for a little while. It does take a bit of time, it doesn't find it straight away. Of course, the charging brace is right there. So it's coming towards the tripod now. Uh, it's realized that the tripod is there, so we're doing hit into it. And now it's, it looks like it's found the charging base, so it's just going towards it now. There you go, we'll hook on that and charge. Now, um, the bin capacity that is on this uh, robot vacuum cleaner is only 0.5 litre. It's good enough for just a small little vacuum cleaner like that. And um, yeah, we'll have a closer look at the device as well. Now, I don't want to keep the video too long, so I'm just going to compare the size with the EC technology robot vacuum cleaner. Now, most robot vacuum cleaners are around this size here. This bumper's plastic all around. That is the bumper there. This one has a nice rubber bumper going all around, which is a lot better quality. I've got to admit, looks wise and feel wise, this one feels a lot better quality compared to this one here. Uh, I will put the link to the review video for this down below as well if I have that still up. But you can see the size comparison right here. Like, it is considerably smaller. This is the same size as that in a circle. So it doesn't make a big difference. But of course, the capacity on this one is a lot bigger. Now, Put this side, go for this here. Very basic, good wheel. Uh, it's got quite a small compartment here for it to fit in, but it's not too bad. Only got one brush, the EC one, the bigger ones normally have two brushes. Now, this cleaning tool over here that it comes with, this one over here has got the knife part, which is to sort of go into this side here and clean off any hair stuck on this wheel over here. And then you've got this brush part here, which is to clean off the magnetic points and to clean off the wheels and also on the charger over here same thing over here to clean off these magnetic points so that the charging can work nice and clearly without no interference and then this simply slots now this is so tightly in there it actually took me to get a screwdriver to take this out because it's pretty bad design for it in my idea like I can't I couldn't get it out but now I can get it out because it just needs to be loosened up with a screwdriver so when you first get it you do need to loosen it up with a screwdriver in order to get it out because it was a bit tight but other than that that is the LaFont uh, robot vacuum cleaner and I think it's a pretty good device it's really strong really sturdy really simple easy to clean up really easy to use did take a pretty long time to set it up at first initially but other than that it looks all good I'm not sure how you connect it to Alexa, I think it does claim that it works with Alexa, I'm not sure, I did try looking into that, but can't seem to find anything on how to connect it with my Alexa device, but um, other than that, I think it's a really good product, I mean, I don't, I don't think I'd really use it with Alexa anyway, um, but yeah, overall score, I'll give it definitely 8 out of 10, uh, it could do with a little bit of a cheaper price in my opinion, but then again, all robot vacuum cleaners are priced around this rate, so that's why I gave it a high score, because, you know, you can't really get a robot vacuum cleaner cheaper than that. But other than that, I think it's a really good device, really easy, very, very interactive on the app, uh, very easy to use on the app as well, and it works really, really well, and it actually, you know, I tried it out, it actually does pick up quite a few bits here and there, it, doesn't, it can't pick up a lot of big heavy bits, and it can't do big fluffy carpets, it can mainly only do tiling floors. Carpets, I don't really advise using this, but um, yeah, it picks up small bits. It's not that powerful, but it can pick up a lot of big bits, but it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent just for your, you know, picking up pet hair or just small things like dust and here and there. Uh, so yeah, overall score 8 out of 10. If you're interested in person, there's a link to buy will be down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.